Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video. If anybody has the true precision slide like I do, for the longest time I was running the Shield RMSC and this literally is a direct mounting on this slide. And that's because it has these mounting holes right here and here and two in the rear, right here and here. So if you look at the slide, you have four posts here, 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 and here. When you look on True Precision's website, they say that this slide is compatible with the RMSC, and they also mention the Holosun 507K and the 407K. Uh, it's not necessarily true. The 507K and the 407K are not a direct mount. So as you can see, the front goes on but the rear doesn't fit because you have these two rear posts back here. And if you look underneath on the 507K, there's no rear holes like you have in the front. So this won't mount to this slide unless you shave off these two rear posts. That's the only way you can mount the 507K to this slide unless somebody makes a mounting plate for this slide that I don't know. I never really looked to see if somebody did. Part of the reason why I never mounted this optic to this slide because I just didn't want to shave off these rear posts. I was dreading doing it. I know it's going to take a long time because I don't really have uh, anything that could shave that down pretty quick. I do have a Dremel, but if anybody has used a Dremel before, you know you could slip off of whatever you're trying to mill down and you can nick everything else as well. And I did not want to nick the finish of this slide to mount the 507K. Just recently, I picked up an EPS carry. So with the EPS carry, it also comes with a mounting plate. And so with this mounting plate, you can mount the EPS carry to this slide without shaving off these two rear posts. It just goes on just like that. All you have to do is put the two screws in and there you go, it's mounted. I just wanted to kind of point this out in case anybody does have the true precision slide, just go out and get yourself an EPS carry. It is a little bit more money, but you are getting an enclosed emitter red dot which to me, I think would be the better red dot anyway. So you're gonna spend a little bit more, but you're gonna have less aggravation trying to shave off these two rear posts. The other thing I want to show is with the 507K, this is the X macro. You could see that you can mount the 507K to the X macro with no plate. It just goes right on and it works with no problems. The same thing goes for the EPS carry. You can put the EPS carry right on there and you can mount it up really easy. The EPS carry has a, uh, it sits a little lower because it's not as thick for the, uh, the base of the optic. So you get a little bit more view of your iron sights, which for me, I like that. And if you want and you feel safer, you can put this mounting plate onto the X macro and mount it that way. Now again, when you use the plate, you're not gonna see as much of the iron sights as if you didn't use the mounting plate, but again, you have options here. So to wrap things up here, I just wanted to make sure that I pointed this out because I honestly didn't know it was gonna uh, work out this way, but it was awesome because I just did not want to try to shave down these two rear posts. And now that I have the EPS carry, now I don't. I just have to use this mounting plate and I'm good to go. If you have any questions about this, make sure you put those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.